I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. From the Studio of Dreams at Tour Nation Productions. Reporting from the Studio of Dreams at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas, welcome to the award-winning Good Morning Ball High. I'm Ethan Keller. And I'm Eden Carcano. And to get things started, as always, here's today's edition of Time Rewind, courtesy of our good friend, David Mendel. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. It's Time Rewind for May 22nd. A public television mainstay premieres in 1967. It's Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, hosted by Presbyterian minister Fred Rogers in his signature cardigan sweaters. Puppets and human characters interact in the neighborhood of make-believe, entertaining and educating a generation of kids. After almost 30 years as host of NBC's Tonight Show, Johnny Carson says goodnight for the last time on this day in 1992. During the run of the show, there have been seven different United States presidents. And thankfully for comedy, there have been eight vice presidents. Carson welcomed a parade of high-profile celebrities during his late-night reign. Pac-Man hits the arcade in Japan on this day in 1980. That October, it invades U.S. arcades and becomes a gaming classic. That's Time Rewind. I'm David Mendel. Now let's check this morning's headlines from newspapers across America. Here's today's official Good Morning Ball High picture of the day. If you have an interesting photo that you would like to be considered as a future picture of the day, send it to Mr. Dudas. We'll be happy to feature it. For even more photos, check out the Ball High Photography photo album. Go to Google and search Ball High Photography. Let's check in and see what's going on in G-Ball Sports. Let's check the latest weather forecast. If you would like to join the K-Tour, the Tornado Team, drop us a line. We'd love to hear from you. Tech furnishing for Good Morning Ball High provided by Star Fine Furniture. For additional content, stay tuned to Part 2 of Good Morning Ball High immediately following today's program. Be sure and stay tuned at the conclusion of today's program for Part 2 of Good Morning Ball High. And for even more Time Rewind, check it out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. I'm Ethan. And I'm Aiden. Wishing you a terrific day. Morning Ball High is produced by the students in the Media Arts Small Learning Community at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas. <laughs> Here's this day in history. May 22nd, 1939. In Europe, Nazi Germany and Fascist Italy signed the Pact of Steel, forming a military alliance just months before the start of World War II. 1972. Richard Nixon begins the first visit by an American president to what's then the Soviet Union. He and Soviet leaders signed the Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty, part of Cold War detente between Washington and its communist rivals Moscow and Beijing. 2002. A former Ku Klux Klansman becomes the third man convicted for one of the deadliest attacks during America's civil rights era. A jury finds Bobby Frank Cherry guilty of murder in the 1963 church bombing that killed four black girls in Birmingham, Alabama. Cherry receives life in prison and dies behind bars more than two years later. 1907. A wretched ration proving fool. Farewell.
Laurence Olivier, actor, director, and producer of both stage and silver screen, is born in Dorking, Surrey, England. In 1992... I bid you a very heartfelt good night. Johnny Carson hosts his last Tonight Show on NBC after nearly 30 years as TV's king of late night. Today in history, May 22nd, Ed Donahue, The Associated Press. Here's the word of the day. Today's word is waggish. It means roguishly humorous. So humorous in a way that's mischievous or maybe a little bit scandalous. Because of that mischievous scandalous side and the fact that it has wag in there, I immediately picture that old painting of all the dogs playing poker around the table and they're all cracking jokes, they're smoking cigars, playing little tricks on each other and Rufus says to Spot, oh Spot, you're being so waggish today. That's waggish. Humorous with a scandalous or mischievous twist. Tell me, Caleb, what is the A-Team? Well, Dr. Neighbors, if you have to ask, then you're not a part of it.